Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves. And today, chums, I'm back inside of No Man's Sky, and I'm going to be building my little outcrop, my little farm, inside of our no... Well, what is it? Light No Sky or something like that that we're doing? I can't remember the actual name of the dang thing. But anyway, we're doing that. So anyhow, I'll jump over into game, and we're going to be building the base. Cool. So... Yeah, there's my there's my base computer just down here. So I've got quite a lot of base parts, but what I need to do is get myself a load of carbon. So let's uh, let's get some carbon, shall we? Now we're not really supposed to upgrade our multi tool all that much. The only thing that I think we can have in the multi tool is the terrain manipulator, because if you want to build a stone sort of thing, I think you need dirt to do that, don't you? But all I've got is a mining laser, and that is about it. I'm going to stick that on there just to boost it a bit to do a little bit more damage if we do ever enter into PvP. But that's that's all I'm doing. Luckily, I got a boosted slot in my lineup. Right, oh, so okay, well let's uh, let's get a load of carbon because I'm going to start building a sort of wooden structure. I think people want well, some ferrite dust there. Let's just get some more carbon. Lovely, lovely, lovely carbon. Chicka boom. You know what? Let's let's do some analysis visor on it. Yeah, I think I think we can scan stuff because we, we've got to actually um, catalog things anyway. It's like in Light No Fire. Apparently, you know, it's all about finding the highest mountain or the largest wave of ocean or the deepest ocean. Well, the only way you can do that on on No Man's Sky anyway is to scan stuff. So I'm, I'm going to scan a few things as I'm doing this. But the basic thing right now. Is we're supposed to be... Oh dear, what was that noise? I had a weird noise. I don't know what that's all about. There we go. I'll pop that one as well. Cool. But anyway, I need to grab a load of carbon. And I'm also getting a little bit of ferrite dust. I don't know whether we can... Let's just have a look. Stone. And what did you... It is silicate powder. It's silicate powder that you use for stone. Now, my first structure, I'm going to be building it a little bit out of wood and a little bit out of stone. So I want a bit of both. So I suppose I'm going to have to get a load of silicate powder by using my terrain manipulator. So what I'm just going to do is dig a little hole. I'm just going to go down here. Then I'm just going to dig around in a circle. Get a load of silicate powder. Might as well. Might as well make the beam nice and big, might not I? There we go. Lovely, lovely. Loads and loads of silicate powder, please. Okay. Ah, I'm stuck. Right, okay. And then what you can do is rather than you can go to restore. And there we go. Store all that back. Make it nice and big. And I think I've restored -cated all of that now. And it doesn't use silicate powder to do that. What just zapped me? I'm going to nick that because I need, I need some more oxygen to do up my uh, life support when needed. But now I can pr pretty much redig that same hole again, really. Ah, I'm in the water. I'm in the drink, people. Don't want to do that. Oh, right. I just found the deepest ocean, apparently. <laughs> yeah, right, here we go. Let's make that nice and big again. And I'll just restore all this in a bit. No! Right, well, I think I've got enough silicate powder now. Let's get out of this hole. Now, my jetpack isn't all that great right now, people. So, let's just get out of here. And, yeah, switch mode. Create, flatten, restore. There we are. Go on, then. Fill back up. Lovely, lovely. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, I don't want to increase the complexity of my base with terrain manipulation, you know what I mean? So there we go. Hopefully that's about good. Hopefully we've made that about good. Righto. 
Oh, I just saw a really cool creature over there. Look at that. It's like a strider. It's got a very strange head end, though, hasn't it? Now, we might all end up with the same blinking creature, thinking about it, though, people, because that is probably one of the gnarliest creatures on this planet. Oh, look, it's my logo colours. I'm going to have to have that, aren't I, as my mount? OK, well, let's uh, let's get that as a mount then, people. Might as well, mind we? So, we, Oh, I better ditch these, because that's a bit cheaty. And I get rid of these as well. So there you go. Now I've only got the things that I've actually earned myself. I can make some of them carbon pellets. Where's that creature blinking on? There he is. Hello, creature. Oi. Oi. Yeah, you. There you go. Some food, my friend. Adopter's companion. I guess. We have a companion. His name is Quateto. Sweet. I didn't scan him first, though, did I? I wanted to discover that species. Right, I don't know whether we've actually started though. I mean, I know cynicals. Oh, okay. I guess I guess it's already been scanned that one then. Right, I'll scan him. And I'll scan that little guy as well. Cool. All right. Well, we got our mount anyway. Okay. Well, let's go start building our little base then, people, shall we? Let's get our little homestead done. Lovely loves. Dum -dum -dum -dum. Now, I know that we're not going to have jetpacks in freaking light no fire, are we? But apparently there might be magic, so who knows? We might be able to levitate or do something. Okay. And I've got this little area here. Look, I've got a little puddle of water right here. Look, I've got a little bit of water. It's, a, it's, only, it's only a little puddle. But all these creatures seem to love it down here, don't they? So this is going to be like... Yeah, it's not going to be the most amazing place in the world. But I'm thinking build just here. Bam, bam, bam! Okay, right. So, can I put in some stone flooring? Because I, I'd like stone flooring. Stone floor panel. There we go. And I'm just going to make it jut out here, I think, people. Um, yeah. About there. Chickaboom. Chickaboom. It's not going to be a big house. You know, all the ones that we saw in Light No Fire were relatively small. So, I'm going to make it quite an interesting shape. There you go. And I think that would probably... Well, let's just put one more square. I think that would probably do for the size of my dwelling. Okay, right. Now what I want is wood. I'm going to do the base in wood. So let's go for a wood timber wall. Actually, I need a door, don't I? I need to be able to get in the bloody thing. And we go for that one, I think. It's not as rustic as I would like, to, to be brutally honest. Oh, hold on. Why can't I build that? Is it because it's got glass in it or something? It does come up with what you need. Oh, pure ferrite dust. Okay, fine. All right, well, I can make some pure ferrite dust, I suppose. I'm going to have to make, um, well, one of these, which is going to need some metal plating first. Okay. Now, we're not allowed to dupe or anything like that. So, you know, this is back to freaking basics. Uh, it's fun times. That's the wrong button, isn't it, I think? Uh, nope, that probably was the right button. I've just got quite a large list. Where's my metal platings then when they're at home? There they are. Sweet. And let's make ourselves... One of these little doohickeys. I mean, this is kind of technology, but you kind of need it to make your, your friggin' base. So, yeah, there is that. All right. Oh, I've hardly got any ferrite dust. Oh, darn it. Okay. Right. We've got a little bit of ferrite dust now. Is that going to be enough to make a freaking door? Go on. Be enough. You know you want to be enough. So it's only going to take six seconds to make 58 pure ferrites. Might have to go slap a couple more rocks. Boom. Okay, let's see how we get on now then, people. Okay, right, I want to build my door. Let me build a door. Heck yes, I can build one now. There we are. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it wonderful? Am I going to need glass for that? I am going to need glass for that. Of course I'm going to need glass for that. Yeah, I need glass. Which, to make glass... Hmm. 
Can I or can't I make glass using silicate powder? You used to be able to make glass using silicate powder. Glass and glass. It says you've got to use frost crystal now. But can I do it just with using silicate powder? You used to be able to. Yes, there you go. I could make glass. I don't want too much glass. I go for two windows, please. That'd do me. No need more than two windows. I wouldn't afford. I'm going to need some of that to make my um, wall half. I want it to be two stories high, roughly. There we go. I'll take that into there. Get the old silicate powder. Cool. And then we go back into the old wooden structures. And I'm thinking maybe this panel here for glass. So go through the door. I think this would be a nice view to have over at this side. But I'm maybe going to actually have like a little porch area to sit on there, I think. So maybe put that there. I do. That's my little view area. And then I think I'm going to, I am going to have another little porch just here. So I'm going to stick that there. So I'm going to have another door there. That's got a little window in anyway. And then uh, I think maybe just some timber walls for the rest. So along here. Lovely, lovely timber. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. So we've got wood there. And we've got this little area that I can go out on this little mezzanine here. And then I could get these little panels here. Chuck those down there. So I've got a nice little seating area out here where I can have my lunch. And then I need to build like a like a wall structure at the top here. So let's go over there. And, you know, does these have glass in, do they? No, they don't. So I just need ferrite dust for that and silicate powder. Pretty darn lovely. Okay, well, I want a few of them. So I need to get some more rocks. And luck be had it. Look at all those rocks over there. Oh, is that some feces I just got for freaking free? Where, where did it go? I'm sure I'll run. There it is. I'll have that. Thanks, buddy. He's kind, isn't he? Right, let's go. Let's go zap a few rocks then. Bam, 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 bam. Dun, 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 dun. Oh dear! I haven't got a, a advanced mining laser. This could be fun to get all the rocks I need. Then, oh, what was that? Is that a rock? That is a rock. I ran into a rock, people. It hit me in the face. One more rock. Zap that for some oxygen. Oh, watch out, creature. Get out of the way. Quattro, you're in the way. Stop being in the way. Okay, I might have to get rid of my creature because it is getting in the way a little bit. Ah, wrong button. Go on. I don't want to keep zapping you and you're stopping me from mining stuff. So, being a bit of a nuisance. I will have him out because, you know, the whole thing with Light No Fire, it seems to be very sort of mount focused, doesn't it? So I definitely want to try and emulate what it's like to play Light No Fire as much as possible. Hopefully in Light No Fire, I mean, you are going to be using a pickaxe, aren't you? And an, an axe to get your materials and you can bet your life you've got to repair them all the frickin' time as well. So it probably is going to be looking after bars in a roundabout way to you know survival mode i can't imagine it's going to be too dissimilar from no man's sky in that aspect when it comes to the survival aspect oh look there's another one of those creatures lovely i'm going to zap this rock as well and i think that might give us enough for what we need to do but then I do need to put a roof on the dang thing. And I am thinking of having a mixed roof, maybe. I would like a stone chimney if I can. I don't know whether I can get away with a stone chimney. But, um, yeah, let's head back then. Let's see how well we're getting on now. Cool, got a geode. There's another evil plant there. It looks like daytime has come around again, people, on this beautiful planet. We've been going all night making our base. But yeah, I think this is quite a lovely little area for my little homestead. Right, okay. Let's, uh, let's start getting these in then. Let's go to stone. And I think this one, the large stone wall, would be quite nice. Oh, look at that. 
it looks really good at lower level, but then at top level it goes all crap. Uh, I don't like that. Oh, dang it. Look, it changes form. Okay. And you can't do the much about that, can you? Change access, free toggle. No, no, no. Cycle part. No, I don't do that either. I was sure that you could actually select the transition that you wanted in the top corner of these things. Maybe I'm wrong then. I was hoping I could change it to the long window. Oh, well, it's still going to let in a bit of light. But is there another window type one? I don't think there is. A circular window. Let's have a look at the circular window. All right, well, that's that's probably a little bit better, actually, isn't it? Okay, cool. Have a little stone area. Okay, well, we're out of that now because we're out of silicate powder. So I need to go dig up a little bit more floor, I guess. Let's have a look at the old ceilings, though, because I'm thinking maybe putting them back on a wooden ceiling. And have we... Oh, we've got loads to choose from. These ones are the canopies on look quite nice. They kind of look like in-keeping, don't they? So, yeah, I could probably use those on the top. Like so, you know? Like a little crow's nest on top. I'll have to play with that in a moment. Right, well, I'm going to go dig up some more of my terrain manipulator then. Let's go do that. I'll just go over here, out of the way a bit. And, yeah, let's just start digging, I guess. Just zap a big hole in the ground here, right here. Lovely, lovely silica powder. I hope you're enjoying this, people. Just watching me build a base the legit way without glitching anything in. It's so tempting, though, I must admit. But at the same time, you know, once we get Light No Fire, I'd imagine there's not going to be any duplication glitches in Light No Fire. Hold on, this is this is a game made by Hello Games, Steve. It, uh, it probably will have, to be fair. Yeah. Right, we better restore all that anyway. Undo, undo, undo. Da 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 In the night Dreamed a lie Fill in, fill in, fill in Lovely jubbly Yeah, I know It takes a little while, doesn't it? If you want to restore the landscape back to its once was Now, what I am thinking, people Because there's no trees on this planet Hopefully inside of my build parts I've got all the trees. Because I'd like some trees near to my homestead. And this big patch of land now that hasn't got any foliage on would be the perfect place to put some trees. Okay, right. Um, where's my base gone? There it is. Okay, let's see if we can have some more. I'm, I'm going to put windows all the way round, I think, people. Those round windows, anyway. Let's, let's have some more of them. And let's hope the textures all match and look lovely. Now, because we've already got glass in this corner, I'm thinking maybe do something a little bit different above that glass. So maybe go for one of these over here. Just to give it a bit more shape to the outside of my gaff. You know, why the fudge not? There we go. And then... I'm thinking ceiling wise, might as well have this stone canvas wall up on this end. Then the rest of it's going to be like a wooden wall, I think. So I don't know what a wooden ceiling thing. I mean, they have got this timbered struss, which is quite cool. That'd have a little bit more height, wouldn't it? We've got the roof corners. Yeah, let's do let's do a proper roof on this thing, shall we? Sweet. Now, I did want a little stone chimney. I don't think I'm going to get a stone chimney. Okay, right, well, I'm good for this. I might be able to cobble something together on the outside that looks like a chimney. be nice to get a fireplace inside of here as well, wouldn't it? Which is the next thing I need to do, really, is, is then focus on the interior of here. 
and make it feel really nice and cosy and snug like. I could do some freaking lights or something in here, but we can't really use lights. I'm going to have to use some sort of torch light or something. Uh, let's have a quick look at what we got then inside of way of lighting, I suppose. Have we got a fireplace? Because that might give up a bit of ambient light. Ah, was that a Quicksilver award? It probably was, wasn't it? I probably haven't got a fireplace. Dang it! Okay, well, um, that's a shame. I would have loved to have a roaring fireplace. I guess that's not happening then. Darn! Well, that sucks. Yeah, it keeps flashing onto the terminal over there, doesn't it? All right, people. Well, there's quite a lot that I could put in the interior, but I don't want anything that doesn't look like it's in keeping with what we're after. But saying that, it's a bloody space game, isn't it? So we haven't got a lot to work with, to be fair. I mean, we've got some. But yeah, you can't really get away with neon freaking lights, can you? That lantern, maybe. Add a push. It'd be nice if there was that jar with the freaking fireflies in. We haven't got that either, have we? Heck no. All right. Uh, that that's kind of sucks. There's a little pillar light there, which isn't too bad. Holographic table, maybe? Is it too technology? I think it is, you know? How would it wouldn't look right, would it? All right. Um, we've got these little guys, but we haven't got the one with the fireflies in it. Darn! Okay, well, this is going to take a little bit of thinking, isn't it, really? We haven't got any sort of, like, wall lights that look like candles or anything, either. Hmm. People, how do I do some lighting? I'm going to have to give this a little bit of thought, aren't I? All right, anyway, before we can get that in, then, let's just uh, let's just get... I'll tell you what. Let's go outside. Let's, uh, let's build my little trellis area, shall we? I go up on the roof, and I'll build, I'll build that bit down there. Here we go then. We haven't even got the uh, barrel of fire, which I was hoping to make my chimney using that and then build round the barrel. So we had smoke. We haven't got a. Haven't even got that. Darn. Okay, right. Uh, right. So let's uh, let's do what's what I need to do outside of here. So I'm thinking maybe this little table. Can I make that a bit bigger? I can make it a bit bigger. Let's go into build camera mode. Let's go down here then. Now I'm thinking hopefully I get some friends in at some point, so put that there, and then we'll have a couple of stools. And one there. One there. And one there. We don't want it too cramped, you know what I mean? Okay, and then have we got any cups or anything? We've got this little thing, a little beer dispenser. Might as well stick that there, might I? Chicka boom! And some little tumblers. There we are. One for you. One for you. One for you. Cool. Little drinky sesh. Nice. Okay, well, we've got that sorted then. Got a nice little area out there. And I suppose we can move inside, and it's a case of adorning all of this. Now, I could just. I might as well just do it with you guys watching, might I? Uh, I'm thinking make it nice and cozy, have some sort of like. I know, wall drapes, maybe. Can I get a wall drape on the wall? Well, that doesn't seem to want to blank in work, does it? Why does it work there, but it doesn't work hanging on the wall? That's that's a bit shite, isn't it? All right, well, let's get let's put some carpets on the ground, then. Let's have a nice little snug area down here. See, I, I wanted a fireplace by these rugs, people, you know? Now, there's not many sofas that are going to look in keeping. They look a little bit too upholstered, you know? So I was thinking maybe just having a, a, a load of rugs, and you just sit on the rugs. You know, like the little rabbit kingdom that we saw in the game trailer? I think that kind of works all right, like, just like that, you know? And then maybe just stick one over here. Pal. Is there any actual pillows, like big cushiony ones? I've seen people use them. I don't. I, I don't think I've got them. Or maybe it's a sandbag and they've just like stuck decals over it or something. But yeah, I think that's just going to be my little seating nook there. And even the bed looks a little bit too futuristic, doesn't it? But that's that's all we've got to work with, to be honest, though, isn't it, people? So 
I might have to stick that over here. Oh, we need condensed carbon for that anyway. And I think it does look too futuristic, to be honest. Anyway, I've got this up here. I could sleep there at night as well. So, yeah, let's do that. Do the same in there. Let's get myself a nice little rug. I'll shrink this down a little bit. Meow. The one there. Just in case I want to sleep under the stars. Put that one there. And then I'll just stick that there. Why not? Uh, I didn't get one of them ones. Stick it over there. Cool. So I've got a little sleepy hole up here. There we go, people. Isn't that wonderful? I guess it is. It's already starting to feel like home already, peeps, inside the view of us. Yes, it is. There we go. We've got a little table here. Um, I don't even think we can have planters. And it's not like we're going to have solar panels or anything either. So it's a case of just dressing this up with stuff that looks medieval. And to be honest, you haven't got a massive array of things that look all that medieval, to be honest. So, yeah, I think we're going to be a little bit scuppered with what's going to fit in here and look like it belongs in this area. Oh, we have got the carts, though, and stuff. Got some boxes. Got a little wooden pallet there. OK, yeah, no, there's, there's quite a lot that we can use. I mean, there's quite a lot that we can't, but, yeah. Oh, there you go. There's a cement bag. That's what I was looking for. And I'll just make that a little bit larger. And I'll stick that up here so that's going to be the pillow and when i want to sleep i just roll that over you know i put another one this end so people can top and tail that's technically our bedroom and our living room all in freaking one now what i do need is a kitchen so let's uh, let's build a kitchen over at the opposite side shall we what's this paneled timber wall okay that might work and it might have a light actually built into it i don't think that's too over the top yeah, I do. All right. And then if I go back into here. And we build a little bar, I guess, using this little kitty. OK, so we're going to have like um, a breakfast bar that comes out this way. Kapow. OK, uh, right. And then there's the end bit. Hmm, that's a little bit tight, isn't it? Okay. Have we got a smaller wall? Yes, we have. Yes, we do. There we are. So, put that there. And then I want this little rounded bit. There we go. So, we've got that there. And then over on this back wall, this is where I'm going to have most of my kitchen gadgets. Well, to be honest, we're not going to have many kitchen gadgets because gadgets isn't a thing. So, right, OK. So we're just going to pretend that that's going to be our cooker inside of there. Can I shrink this down and make it look like it's a cooker? Uh, da, 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 da. Can I make it look like a cooker ring? Is that going actually in? I don't think it is, is it? No. Well, it might work. Let's put it right by that leg there. Boom. So this is going to be my cooker. And I'm going to just put this vintage dish on top. Actually, let's put the big wok on it. There you are. That's where I'm going to cook, essentially. That kind of looks like a, a thing, doesn't it? Now, what we don't have is a sink. Um, oh, actually, that, that, that could work as a sink, I guess. I'm going to put the sink over here, I guess. There we are. Make that nice and big. Let's go into, let's go into camera mode. Let's uh, put a sink in this corner here, shall we? Yeah, that'd do. So that's where I'm going to do my washing up, people. And we're going to need some taps on that, aren't we? So where's those taps? Here we go. I do for a tap. Put that in the wall slightly and put that there. Actually, that's probably the best way around. Got a little tap. I don't know whether they have plumbing inside of uh, Light No Fire, but I've got it inside of my house. Heck yes, I do. I've got an insulated flask. Let's just make that nice and big. Dun, 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 dun. Boom. 
We have two of those, in fact. There we go. And uh, what else? What else looks medieval? Well, this thing, this this looks pretty medieval. Don't know what that is, but it's, it can go there, I guess. We'll have this, but we'll make it nice and small. Because you want something to dry your hands on, don't you? So there we are. Put that there. And not only that, we probably need... Can I hang that in front of it? So it looks like you can just dry your hands on that. Hmm, yeah. I wonder if I can make it look like it's actually part and parcel of that roll there. There we are. That probably work. Well, it kind of, kind of does. Looks like it's gone through there. Uh, that looks quite good actually. That was a happy accident. Okay, right. So we got that. Um, what else do we want inside of here? I mean, there are those little tables that are used outside. We've got these stools over here, so I can stick that there. So we've got a little breakfast bar. Boom, and boom. And I suppose if somebody really wants to, they can sit around this side too. There we go, got a little breakfasty area. We've got my little kitchen area, a place to cook, a place to wash up. This is all good. And then this is sort of like the entrance hall. So when you come in, that's where you can wipe your feet and all that sort of jazz. Let's put another carpet there. So as you come in, you can take your shoes off, or take your jacket off, hang up your weapons and all that sort of jazz. Yeah, that's a thing. Now we have got multi-tools. So maybe in the interiors... Have we got the weapons rack? Don't say that's behind some sort of wally type thing as well. Seriously? I haven't even got the freaking multi-tool rack. Oh, yes, I have. I went past it. There we are. I'm going to put that in my entrance hall. Oh, no, I need cobalt. We need to go into a, a cave so I can put up some multi-tools on the wall. That looked good there. And it might bring in a bit of light, mightn't it? We have got this sort of like white line that goes all the way around where the two meet anyway. But it's not enough light to light anything up, is it? Hmm. Okay. What lights do I have for the outside that might I might be able to get away with? I've got these banners. Now they've got lights on the top of them, haven't they? Yes, they do. Cool. I think we can get away with them. So let's put that under the window. I want it my banner colour. I want it red and white if I can. Please. Yeah. You can put that there. Put that there. I'll put them under each of these. And then we've got light then, people. And it doesn't look like I've used proper technology, does it? I'm going to have my um, multi-tool rack there. So I won't bother with that. I'm going to shrink it down because I don't really want it to be on my kitchen surface, do I? No. And there we are, people. I think that kind of works. Well, that one doesn't, does it? Because we've got that recess there. So I put one there. And that's it. That's all I can do at the moment. I need to get some more resources. But you know what? I think this is looking pretty darn freaking lovely at the moment. And I could put in some sort of seated area over there, I suppose. But, yeah, we can't put in any technology. So it's, it's rather restricting in what I can and can't use in a roundabout way. But I'm liking this. It's actually making me think a little bit, using the old grey matter. And I think we're doing all right so far, people inside of your us. And maybe that small planter would be all right. I don't know, though. We'll have to have a look-see. But yeah, I think my house is looking like a house now, people. I guess. Might as well pick this up and take that with me. But yeah, let, let's um, upload my base then, shall we? Bam, bam, bam. Captain. Steve's. Homestead. Cool. And, yeah, I might as well take a new screenshot of the base. I guess. There's quite a lot I still want to do to it. I don't like the fact that it looks like it's floating. So I'm going to be building something underneath it. There we go. And then upload base. 
Done. Lovely jubbly. Now, over on the old discoveries, I don't think anybody has actually named the planet yet. So I might name this after what the actual event is. And I think it's called No Man... No, it's not. It's called Light No Sky. That's it. Light No Sky. I think that's what we're calling this. I'm going to double check before I rename this. Heck yeah, that's a good idea. Yes, it's called Light No Sky. So here we go. Light... No sky. Boom. There we are. That's what I've named the planet. Light no sky. Cool. Right. Well, I, I might have a little bit of a head start on the guys. So let's have a look. See. Can I name this one? Add to wanderers. Rename. Yes, I can. So what shall I call this guy? He's called Rivenous. I'm going to call him Curly Nose. Girly nose. We go boom. What about this guy? Because I found him as well. I'm going to call him. Mm, don't know what to call him. Rat dog? Oh dear, why not? Rat dog, I do. Hopefully, Ricey and, um, you know, Cynical will be doing a similar sort of thing. We've got this little chap. Oh, he's lovely. He just likes bright colours. I'm going to call him... Horns. There we go. There we go. Done, dilly, and done. So I've named those. They're all my logo colours, funny enough. They're all red and black, aren't they? There we go. I don't know what that one's blinking doing. Look at him. But I, I don't think I should scan much more. Because, you know, maybe I've had a head start. I don't know. I did tell them that I'm going to start building my base and doing stuff. So there is that, I suppose. Anyway, where's my... Oh, yeah, there's my base computer there. Right. I'm just going to use my ship as a save point. So I'm just going to jump in and out of my ship to save. That's the only thing I'm going to use my ship for. I won't be taking off on it or doing anything like that. There's still a few bits and bobs I'd like to do to my base, but I think that's enough for this episode in way of base building. So, yeah, I'm just going to jump in my ship, add my ship, create a save, and that's pretty much all I'm going to be doing right now, people. So, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, peeps, you've enjoyed me doing this episode where I've just built the basics of a base on this lovely planet. And we've kind of got our sort of self established now on this lovely home world. And I've also got a mount, which is that, you know, that lovely strider. Now, I would like to have a flying mount. What I'm thinking of doing is using my PC save to meet up with my legacy save. Give my PC save a couple of the um, flying eggs, you know, like griffins or, or dragons. And then... You might use my PC save to come and visit this new save and give the eggs back. So at least I've got a couple of flying mounts. But first I have to run that past Cynical and Ricey to make sure that it's okay. They might be more obliged to that if I say that I give them some eggs when I do it. Yeah, so we've all got a flying mount each, you know. That could be a thing. Yeah, I think that's probably fair. I'd have to suggest it and see if I can get away with it. But until next time, people, salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. All long ago, our yapper joined my channel as a member. Yes, I remember 40 months ago. Thank you, Power Yapper. Thank you for all your comments and joining the live chat. And you can. Thank you. P-O-W-E-R Yapper, thank you, chum And thank you for watching, everyone I make these songs for my members, why not join? Our Yapper joined my channel as a member Yes, I remember 40 months ago. Thank you.